guys, how are you all? As you can tell from the title, today we're featuring some manga adaptations of Lewis Carroll's original Alice in Wonderland. I have the White Rabbit here as our guest today, and this will probably make him late for the tea party, but you know, that's okay. So today's Manga Mondays is just a little bit biased just because I just love Alice in Wonderland so much. I have three series lined up today and these three series are just really close to my heart as a manga enthusiast, a manga reader, and a fangirl. So I hope you guys don't mind if I go off on a little bit of a tangent because all three of these series are three of my favorites. The first series that I have today is called Pandora Hearts. Pandora Hearts is a really dark adaptation of the original Alice in Wonderland story. It takes all the great Alice in Wonderland characters and kind of puts them in a much darker and more suspenseful plot. It almost has nothing to do with the original Alice in Wonderland, but it keeps that sort of whimsical, curious, and mad atmosphere that you really love from Alice in Wonderland. So basically at the beginning of the series, um, Oz Vesalius, the son of a very notable noble family, ends up getting cast into the abyss um, after being punished for something. And this ends up being like the prologue and kind of the premise of how the story is set up. Oz ends up meeting a really weird girl named Alice and they go on this really dark adventure to figure out Alice's past and recover Alice's memories. I really love Pandora Hearts because it has a really solid storyline, a lot of mystery and a lot of fast paced action to kind of keep you reading. But at the same time, it goes so deeply into your character's emotional dispositions that you can't help but sympathize with those characters. And Pandora Hearts is still ongoing so right now we're at like chapter 88 or something and there are death flags raised way throughout the story like you know that some characters are gonna get injured some characters have to change some characters have to die and you get so attached to these characters that it causes you so much pain and suffering when you actually see bad things happen to these characters the great thing about the manga is that Jun Mochizuki's art style is so good like, it has a way of bringing out the craziness and like the insane aspects of the characters. It's so hard to draw characters that look happy and insane at the same time. Like, madness is really hard to like line into facial expressions, but Jen Mochizuki's art style really complements um, the mood and atmosphere of the story. And if you guys are looking for like something that's like, a little bit psychological, kind of dark, definitely check out Pandora Hearts. And here I have 21 volumes right now. They are all published by Yen Press. So if you guys want to pick that up, you definitely can. I highly recommend you buy this manga series um, because it has a really unique cover art theme. First of all, um, everything is kind of white on the cover, um, and each cover is dominated by one character. Most likely, if you see a certain character on the cover, you'll see um, his or her story or a bit more of a focus on that character within the volume. I have both of the guidebooks here as well as volume 19 of Pandora Hearts Special Oz Edition. I got some of these in Japan, so I'm very happy to have picked up one of these. The next series that I have today is also a darker adaptation of the original story, and this one is called Are You Alice? Are You Alice sticks closer to the original story where Alice goes into Wonderland by accident and ends up going on this journey. But um, in this world, when Alice stumbles into Wonderland, he or she becomes the temporary Alice. And the temporary Alice needs to kill the white rabbit before um, he or she can become the real Alice. And Alice is the only person that can kill the white rabbit. So each of the characters in the Are You Alice world are bound by certain rules of things that they can or cannot do. And if they break those rules, the Queen of Hearts has the ability to um, cut off their heads. It has a really like dark and almost amoral spin to the story. Like none of the characters really care about good or bad, right or wrong. They don't care about regrets. Um, they don't really care about memories. All they care about is the present and moving forward from that. So everyone in Wonderland has a role. Everyone needs to fulfill that role. And there are certain things that might happen to you and certain consequences that can happen to you if you decide to step out of that role and if you decide to go against your role. There's there's definitely a theme of predeterminism and individualism because some characters want to get out of their roles in the Wonderland world and they can't because that's just not how the world is like structured. So you kind of see people like struggling and conflicted with their lots in life. There are so many riddles in Are You Alice? Like you really have to kind of like try and wrap your head around the story and how the Mangeka intended to tell the story. There are five volumes right now, again published by Yen Press. Um, volume four gets like a little bit confusing and then volume five kind of tries to smooth out the crinkles and the problems that volume 4 posed but yeah a lot of unanswered questions in Are You Alice a lot of it does not make sense when you're reading it it's just really interesting to see how everyone acts and reacts because you can't predict 
anything. So yeah, if you guys are looking for something really crazy and new to try, try Are You Alice. Are You Alice is also a really great series to have on your shelf because each volume is meticulously designed. Um, there are about two characters on each of the volumes, one in the foreground and one in the background, and um, each volume follows a color scheme. So everything looks really nice, really tidy. There is a very coherent style and composition. The third and last series that I have today is actually a manga adapted from a visual novel that was adapted from the Lewis Carroll stories. So if you guys are familiar with um, Quinn Rose, um, one of the Otome visual novel reverse harem game makers. Quinn Rose does um, all the Alice in the Country of Hearts series and stories and games and because of the overwhelming popularity of Alice no Kuni no Hearts they end up doing a manga adaptation to kind of show you how Alice would act and how the route would pan out if she was like paired up with different other characters. So the original manga adaptation follows Alice and um, Blood Dupre, the Mad Hatter, and there's three huge omnibus volumes that you can currently get. I really love Blood because he has that like dark and kind of playful attitude to him, and he's one of my favorite characters. So if you are also a fan of him, you'll really like his story. The original um, manga adaptation has an ending to it where Blood and Alice do get together, but when you read all the spells, Spinoffs. There isn't like a lot that's going on in terms of the plot. A lot of it is like short one shots or mini series that you kind of get when you see Alice paired up with the March Hare, um, Tweedledum and Tweedledee, um, the Cheshire Cat. The Cheshire Cat is like really popular among fans. The manga adaptation was kind of like a way to kind of give more to the fans because the fans really love the Queen Rose series. I absolutely love the world of Alice No Kuni No Hearts. Alice is like pretty sassy, even though at times she comes off as really unsure about her emotions. And yeah, if you are a fan of anything in the reverse harem otome genre, or you're just looking for like really light, really lovely romance that takes place in a really wonderful world of Wonderland, definitely check out Alice No Kuni No Hearts. So thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of Manga Mondays. Hopefully between Pandora Hearts, are you Alice and Alice in the Country of Hearts? You guys found something that you might want to try. This week's video was definitely a little bit biased just because I really love the Alice in Wonderland world and I really wanted to share my love of that and my fandom of that with you guys. So I hope you guys found something interesting to read this week and let me know in the comments if you are fans of any of the series below. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit like or subscribe for more from me and I will talk to you guys in my next video very soon. Bye!